<sighs> it's unfortunately here, the last week of the regular season of the NFL, week 18. And this season has been definitely a roller coaster ride from injury to gameplay to just honestly everything that has to do with football. It really has been one of the most interesting seasons we have by far had. Still praying for you, DeMar Hamlin. And, um, you know, my real honest prayer is that hopefully one day, some way you can play football again. That would be amazing. Welcome to another episode of All Smoke, All 32 with Aaron Givens. We got the Browns going to the Steelers. Give me the Steelers. I don't think the Browns are going to be able to mentally be and prepare and play against a rallied Steelers team that has something to play for with Tomlin's record and um, just being the coach that he is and still trying to find a way to silence the naysayers. And even though he has had Ben Roethlisberger his whole career, he's proving that even without him, he can still find a way to go over 500. Next, we have the Ravens at the Bengals. I honestly think that the Bengals are just going to take care of business. Um, there's reports that Ravens are not even playing uh, their top players and resting them, let alone not having Lamar still uh, being able to play and Huntley still kind of a game time decision. And from the looks of it, he's probably not even going to play. So give me the Bengals to cruise 24 to 17. Next, we have the Vikings at the Bears. Bears really have nothing to play for. Justin Fields is out. Vikings are going to cruise. Give me the Vikings 28 to 10. Next, we got the Pats at the Bills. Bills really have something to play for. Um, more than just playoff seating, uh, more than just um, the game of football. Uh, they're playing for a human being today. Um, and uh, I, I think the Pats coming in, they're going to be very respectful and, and they are a classy uh, football team uh, because of who they are led by. And uh, I, I think uh, just around the league, we know everybody is going to have heavy hearts, but the Bills are going to play very, very tough emotional football today. And I really think they're going to run up the score. Um, I think it's going to be a, a crazy blowout, uh, 34 to 14. Next, we have the Jets at the Dolphins. Um, you know, Jets are going to try and fight hard. Um, being in their quarterback situation is very unfortunate. But I believe they're probably one of the only teams in the league that are a quarterback away from really making a stamp in the league. Um, I think that the Dolphins are just going to be able to take advantage of the matchups that they will have and the key matchup that everybody honestly is looking forward to is the Tyreek Hill uh, Waddle matchup versus Sauce Gardner. So give me the Dolphins in a close one, 21 to 16. Next, we got the Giants at the Eagles. Um, I really think this is a game for the Eagles to just play their starters, get a good feel, get on a hump, get past, and just go ahead and rest and, and get ready for this postseason. Uh, Giants just look embarrassing last time they played, and it was less than a month ago. And I don't think it's going to be much different. They're only going to play better football once they pull their starters on the Eagles side. So give me the Eagles in a close one because the Giants are going to find a way to score later in the game. Uh, 34 
the 28th. Next, we have the Chargers at the Broncos. I really feel that the Broncos uh, can win this game because if the Ravens lose, their seeding is set, and that basically puts them at a still where they don't need to play anybody and nothing matters. And I even think if they still kind of have a seeding to play for, you think about their kind of injury roles with Mike Williams and uh, um, Eckler, you know, he's, he could be banged up a, a, a here and there. And I know they want to try to get the run game going. I know they want to try to establish certain things, but it may not be worth it for the health of your team. So I got the Broncos um, averaging over 20 points for the past four games on offense to go ahead and put up more than 20 points and to win this game 28 to 17. Next, we have the Texans going to the Colts. And basically, you know, these Texans got to find a way to lose the game. It is what it is. And I think the fan base really wants that. And unfortunately, I would usually say, you know, it is what it is, but I want that too. And I think that as a fan base, we deserve uh, to get that number one pick that we should be able to evaluate if we want to trade it and get more or be able to really grab a quarterback we feel can take control and start to go on with our franchise. Or like I said, just get more picks, better players and keep building. But hopefully the Colts can pull this off with not even having Nick Foles at quarterback. I don't know what they're going to do there, but um, Zach Moss will be running back and he'll be definitely a force because the Texans cannot stop the run for anything. So give me the Colts 19 to 16. Next, we have the Bucks at the Falcons. I think that the Bucks may play hard and I think that they honestly will go ahead and try to find a way to uh, win this game. But I believe that the Falcons are just going to play even tougher because they don't want somebody to come in and walk over them. They've definitely been able to run the ball. Uh, Egler has really um, been putting on a show, being able to find a way to get the ball and just run down the field. Uh, yards after contact. He's really been a, a silent killer in the league this year. Um, so keep doing your thing, number 25. I think you're going to help carry and beat the Bucks, 28 to 14. Next, we have the Panthers at the Saints. Everybody's looking at this game for what reason? Nothing at all. Has no implications or nothing in regards to really seeding or what what's really going to happen. So. I mean, this is a fan-loving game. You love the Panthers, love the Saints, basically who's tuning in. So uh, I, I really like to take the Panthers in this game. I think Sam Darnold is honestly playing average, uh, better yet, decent football. And I think that they can honestly go ahead and get this done in a non-meaningful game, but pushing forward, finding out what they need to keep and where they need to go in regards to the quarterback situation for the Panthers and um, honestly, uh, in, 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 in general, you know, there's really only so many pieces there. And same with the Saints. Those are the type of teams that you're looking at. They may be in ultimate rebuild mode uh, going down to the vets that they have. So I'll take the Panthers 28 to 17. Next, we have the Cowboys at the Redskins. I really think the Cowboys are going to definitely take care of business, um, you know, play the starters, beat them up a little bit, and then, you know, there go the backups. Uh, I really think the Cowboys have a, a good shot of going into the postseason and making some noise, and they're going to show in the first half of this game why. Give me the Cowboys 28-21. to 21. Next, we have... The Rams at the Seahawks. I think that the Seahawks are definitely going to be able to shake off some rust from having a little losing streak and not finding out 
uh, you know, if they could really uh, do it. But they have been a surprising team nonetheless of the wins that they did pull out this year and the way that uh, Geno Smith played this season. So I really like the Seahawks in this one. I think that they're just going to be able to play better at home and rally and get a team win for their 12 um, and go out with a bang. So give me the Seahawks, 31-21. Next, we have the Cardinals at the 49ers. JJ, you're my man. I know you're going to go out strong uh, playing against a really tough opponent. And uh, it's really going to sad not to see number 99 playing on the field no more. With that being said, though, I think the 49ers are coming in, not caring about anything with J.J. Watt last game, not caring about anything with predicament seedings. They're going to come in and play football. And they're going to really show that they are hungry and want to win a Super Bowl this year. They made some moves. They're, 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 they're ready and hungry and they're going to put on a show. Give me the 49ers in a blowout, 41 to 21. Next, and finally, the flex game that everybody is ready to see if the Lions can finally hit that postseason against these Packers. And to be quite honest with you, Aaron Rodgers is in too much of a groove with the team, no matter division, no matter how the circumstances are playing, if they had to play in a field that was tore up, if they had to play on gravel, if they had to play on stone, this man is ready to lead this team into the postseason. Everybody knows there's certain teams and certain players or certain coaches that you give them that chance and they see the opportunity, they are going to take it and they're going to make something of it. And I just think that Aaron Rodgers is not going to let this opportunity slip and he's going to leave everything out on the field today and make sure that even though they know the Lions can put up a test, that he's going to put this team on his back and make sure they get into the postseason. Give me the Packers in a close one, 31-28. That's all I have for this episode of All Smoke, All 32. And it's been an honest pleasure of going week by week and giving you guys my honest feel about games and predicting and sharing thoughts about players and coaches and rules changes and just everything that has to do with the game of football. I promise I'll continue my best to keep giving you guys content through the playoffs, after the playoffs, and just continue to be consistent with the thing that we share. And that's the love of football. Until the postseason, guys, you already know what time it is. See ya.